Wow, having fun, I see. Lend me a million dollars, I can pay you back in a million years. Oh, yeah, I'll just check with my business manager. Tell me a story. Buffy, Grandma's gonna be here any minute, and Ginny has to drive me to work. Please? Oh, come on, there's always time for a quickie. <laughs> How about Little Red Riding Hood? That's for babies. Oh, just hush up and listen. Okay, once upon a time, there was a cop named Little Red. And Little Red did patrol in the hood, which is a real funky part of town. What's funky? Um, nasty. Anyway, Little Red was looking for this real ugly dude named Big Bad Wolf because he was robbing elderly ladies in the park. He was stealing their social security checks. Why? Can I just tell the story, please? Thank you. Okay. So one day, Little Red decides to set a trap. So she disguises herself as an elderly lady. We're talking cane, orthopedic shoes, everything. Oh, Grandma's here. Come on, Mom. Oh, uh, okay. That night, Little Red is walking through the park when who should appear but the big bad wolf? My, my, says the wolf. What a large, heavy purse you have with lots of lovely cash. <gasps> Hand it over. <gasps> the better to arrest you with, said Little Red. And instead of cash, she pulls out her 9mm service automatic. Jenny, What happened? Little Red arrests the big bad wolf, and he went to jail. Right. Come on. But not before Big Bad Wolf went first piece. Luckily, Little Red was quicker and she blew the Big Bad Wolf's hairy butt to smithereens. Thanks a lot, Jen. They all lived happily ever after. Let's go. Inspector? Hey. Are you sure you got out of that? This is a moment that requires complete confidence. Why don't you cut it in half? Coward's way out. Oh, <laughs> oh. Ooh, I am Ooh. very impressed. Don't try this at home, rookies. Ah, uh, who you call a rookie? <laughs> Get a piece of that action too? Well, wow. look who's here. Extorting money from your tenants to allow them to keep their pets. That's against the law. I don't know who you've been talking to, but you're way off base. <laughs> Evelyn Corbett, apartment 115. She got laid off from her job, so she couldn't pay. So you took her dog Roger, shot it, and dumped it to set an example? Yeah, well, she's a burnout, okay? I think she's back on drugs. Besides, what dog? She signed a lease saying she didn't have one. You're a pretty sizable guy, aren't you? <laughs> Don't remind me. Big, tough guy. Kicking on a bunch of desperate people. Scaring them, squeezing them dry. I bet you love every sick minute of it. Look, you done? Because I got work to do. You know what I see? I see a big, dumb coward. As a matter of fact, I think you're so dumb, you probably still have the gun you used to shoot Roger in your apartment. I'll tell you what. Why don't we get a search warrant and find out? Look, just, just, just hold on. Look, what do you want? Maybe we can work something out here. No go. Come on. Assaulting a police officer? Oh, come on. Attempted bribery of a police officer? Harlan Cooper, I think you're under arrest. Oh. Look what I got. Damn cops. What cops, huh? 
Huh? It's just you and me here. You got something to say to me? Resisting arrest. Thank you very much. Now I'm done. <laughs> Sorry, Jenny. Listen, I mean, I don't do this, you know, really. Oh, last night I was with some guys at the bar, Dad, and I met Stop April. it! Stop it! Okay, you're like a, a teenager whose mother caught him in bed with a cheerleader. All right, this is your house. I am just a, a non-paying tenant. Hey, come on, this is your home. Don't do that, Jenny. Dad, really? Okay, we'll talk about it later. I gotta go. Three eggs scrambled, soft, not runny, hash browns, crispy, not hard, rye bread, lightly toasted, not burned, butter on the side, and don't forget the jalapenos, extra hot if you have it. Okay. Uh, I'll have a club soda, no eggs. Didn't your mother ever tell you that breakfast was the most important meal of the day? Yeah, it's uh, pre-game jitters. As well as my first time in front of the grand jury. First timer, huh? Yeah. Mm. Then you must have already had the dream by now. Uh, no, what, what dream? Oh, you know, the one all new ADAs have. Back courtroom, everyone you know is there, parents, siblings, friends, professors. Stand up to address the jury. They all start laughing at you. I mean, we're not talking little girly giggles, Theodore. We are talking ear-splitting, humiliation-inducing derision here. Why? Because you're buck naked, my friend. <laughs> Uh, all right. 